Debbie, what the hell's happening? I thought I made it clear with my text we're leaving. You can't. Watch me. I'm not letting you take my kids away, Debbie. Are you going to try and stop me? Don't put me in that position. Meaning? Meaning that I will tell everyone the truth about Pete and Robert and Ross and the deal that you made. You can't do that. You wouldn't. I ain't got a choice. So you want prison? Kids knowing, Diane knowing, Victoria knowing what you did? You try and stop me and I swear to you, I will tell everyone the whole story. You know, it was great seeing you again. Yeah. And I'm sorry for focusing on the bad times. Well, remember, there were some good ones as well. Yeah. We had something you and me. We did. And, Charles, thanks for understanding. Glad I've got a better idea of what went on. Right, better get going. Well, I didn't expect that. Hmm. Kind of shocked myself. <laughs> Right, um, bye. <laughs> Your kids are my life. They still came second to revenge, though, didn't they? I wasn't in my right mind. Oh, what? And you are now? Meaning what? Meaning that you are still recovering. It wasn't that long ago you were getting taught back from a cliff edge, Andy. The fact that you would even consider doing that to Pete, to anybody... But I never did it. I need to get out of here. OK? I need to break the cycle for the kids' sake. You need to see this is not just about you. This is about all of you. I have to go. Kane, you can't want this. No, I don't. But there's nothing I can do. Debbie, please, please, I'm begging you, don't leave. Where are you going to go anyway? I don't know. I'll decide when I'm away from here. And, Andy, I promise you, I will keep in touch, all right? And when we're settled, you can come and visit. But I am going with or without your say-so. I can't let you do this. What are you going to have to? Look, the kids are upstairs if you want to say goodbyes. Just keep it together, cos as far as they're concerned, they're going on holiday, OK? Does that mean that you've accepted it? Like I said, we've got no choice, have we? Well, then you better ring Moira, cos there's something that I needed to do. Hiya. Hi. I thought I'd put a bit of tea on for us. Call it a New Year's resolution or whatever, just be a bit more use around here. You do your bit. Where have you been? Hmm? Well, um, I thought the cure for a hangover would be hair of the dog. I coupled with a look around the sails, but I didn't see anything I liked. Come here, you. Oh, oh, oh. What's this for? Hmm? No reason. I'm allowed to show a bit of affection to my only son, aren't I? Yeah, but right now I need to have a look at the tea, yeah? You'd be good for your mum, yeah? Dad, it's only a holiday. I know that. I'm just going to miss you, that's all. Don't forget that I love you, right? Come on. I need to take him until mum gets out. What? Are you sure about this? I, I mean, I, I will, of course I will. I'd take him with me, but he's not mine to take. And I, I don't want Ross having an excuse to come and find me. Listen, Debs, I don't have to do this. Are you going to say your goodbyes now, or are you going to come to the airport? I'll come with you, and I'll do him that. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you take care of yourself. What's happening? She's leaving. With her kids. Leaving? Even when I've got nothing left, you still manage to take something, don't you? Well, congratulations, mate. You win again. <laughs>